Hello and welcome to Mortgage Strategy 101. Did you know that your mortgage strategy is the starting point to manage risk? It's not talked about a lot. In fact, we hardly hear any mortgage professionals talk about why risk management is such a, such a critical component of your mortgage strategy. But we are here to tell you that it is. And it just makes sense. Your mortgage is your largest expense in your lifetime and it interacts and should interact seamlessly with your money management system, your, your method of saving and your offset accounts. So it is one of our top five mortgage strategies and I'll provide just a brief introduction for you today on some of the high level considerations regarding how you can manage your risk within your mortgage strategy. Okay, so an obvious one are additional repayments. So we can make additional repayments onto our mortgage and that's, that's a way of managing risk. We also, counterintuitively, we could make less additional repayments onto our mortgage and keep more money in an offset account that we do not touch and that can be a way of managing risk as well. It serves the same purpose, however, we potentially have more readily available savings in case we have fluctuating financial circumstances. And ultimately, the only time we need to manage risk is if our financial circumstances have changed. For example, we've had a kid, uh, we're changing jobs, we're starting a business, um, we've had some sickness or health issues, which most people will during their lifetime prior to retirement. So making additional repayments or trapping them in an offset account can be a way of managing risk. The loan term can be a way of managing risk. Now, many ways of managing risk are counterintuitive. For example, you manage risk if your minimum repayment is lower. That's not to say that you don't pay extra off or you don't have a money management system that ensures you're trapping the maximum amount of your money. But if you're in a tough time and you are good at managing money, then if your minimum repayment is lower, you have more of a buffer. You don't have to put as much of it across to a forced commitment, if that makes sense. So, actually considering, well, yes, having a forced commitment which makes me spend all of my money on a mortgage repayment um, can be a way of forced savings. But for those of you who are reasonably good at managing your money, then the opposite can be true as well, which can allow you to build up your savings buffer more rapidly, okay? So the loan term if it's extended out to 30 years, can mean that your minimum repayment is lower, as opposed to the fact that you are still making additional repayments or saving your maximum amount into an offset account linked to that loan that you do not touch and do not have ATM access to, okay? So repayment type, you can choose to pay principal and interest. Now that can help you manage risk because you're forced to make principal repayments. Counterintuitively, you could choose interest only to manage risk because it, again, it means your minimum repayment is lower. As long as you have a really good money management system, it means you're building up a bigger buffer of cash. All right, so you hopefully you're getting a bit of a sense here that something that we might often consider to be risk management, making additional repayments, being forced to pay principal and interest, Sometimes they, that can mean we're not able to build up a buffer as rapidly as we could if we had a 30 year loan term or if we chose interest only repayments. Now the point I'm making is not that you should do one or the other, is that you should explore each option and not, be, not close your mind off to this or that and then select the approach that is right for you. So setting your money goals. So most people, when we sit down with them, they don't have money goals. So, and particularly prior to making property decisions. So one of our starting points is setting money goals 
regarding what is the minimum amount you're comfortable in terms of available funds to have access to and after you've settled on that property how much surplus cash flow each month would you like to have let's set the money goals because uh, all the research says that one of our three keys to happiness is how much money we have in the bank fortunately or unfortunately you know it's obviously an integral part of of our world so we need to we need to have an understanding of what do we need emotionally to feel happy about the amount of money we have in the bank and how much surplus cash flow we have each month. Cash flow buffer and cash savings buffer are part of the money goals. Your loan to value ratio. Now our preference is once you own two or more properties, your loan to value ratio would be under 80%. Now for some people that's conservative. So, you know, someone who has a, an aggressive risk profile, for them to, they might be taking a bigger risk in their mind if they weren't borrowing more and having less of an equity uh, against each property because they want to, they understand the power of compound growth and believe if they buy more properties faster and they're able to hold them, then they're setting themselves up for greater wealth at retirement. So again, risk management is in the eye of the beholder the problem is that often we don't look at the full picture when, we're, when we are considering how we will manage risk for ourselves. And all these, all these different areas can be done within your mortgage strategy and how you manage your money that is connected to your mortgages through offset accounts and your money management system. You can obviously fix your loan. So fixing is like paying an insurance premium Unfortunately, normally the banks will win on fixed rates. That's what the research suggests. However, it provides you with certainty. Uh, opposite to that, on variable rates, you can manage risk because you can pay extra off whenever you like. Most variable rates will allow you to offset some uh, of your money against them to reduce the interest, whereas most fixed rate accounts will not. And so that's why if you're thinking about fixing, it almost always, not all, but not every time, but almost always will make sense to have some fixed and some variable. So we also talk to people about, well, if you do fix, you actually don't, you want to lose. And people go, why? Why do we want to lose? Well, the reason you want to lose is if you fix and your rates say at the same level of the variable rate, but you've got some debt on a variable rate, well, if rates go down, overall you're paying less interest. So you're losing on the fixed rate, but you're paying less interest. Now if you win on the fixed rate, guess what? You're paying more interest because rates have gone up. So that's why we say, well, if you do fix, barrack for rates to go down. Um, although that can mean the economy is not as strong and that's a whole other conversation, but personally on your interest rates, go in with the mindset of not being too concerned if you don't win out when you do choose to fix. Okay, diversification. Now this is, we obviously provide fiercely independent property advice. So you can diversify through your property asset selection across states, across cities, across property types, across locations. We're also a believer in different asset classes, shares, etc. Uh, there are considerations around one lender or multiple lenders. There are considerations around cross collateralization with one lender across multiple lenders so and and there are many different aspects to most of these forms of managing risk through your mortgage strategy hopefully from this little conversation though you you get the understanding that there are a myriad of ways you can manage risk through your mortgage strategy so if any of that has sort of um, set off a alarm bell or a question mark or you would like to explore what some of the areas that I've just touched on, please reach out to us and sit down with one of our strategic mortgage brokers for a complimentary meeting on how, and discussion on how you can manage your risk within your mortgage strategy. Until next time, have a great day. Thanks.